In today's video, Mackenzie Dern confirms her split with partner Wesley Santos. Michael Chandler jokes with Sons about his UFC 281 loss. Mark Goddard responds to Israel Adesanya's criticism. Michael Bisping reacts to Alex Pereira's win over Adesanya. Chris Weidman praises Adesanya for handling UFC 281 loss like a true champ. And Carla Esparza posts a video statement following UFC 281 loss. For all the Mackenzie Dern fans, she's single. The UFC strawweight contender confirmed her split with partner Wesley Santos over social media. Dern was married to Wesley Santos, who was a professional surfer. The duo had a daughter between them. Yes, guys, I'm single. I've been single for a while now, a few months, and yeah, everything's good. We're taking care of our daughter. Um, I hope you guys can respect our decision to separate and go our own paths. I'm so thankful for everything that I've had with Wesley, and I wish him all the best in his life. But yeah, everyone's been asking me that, so there's the answer. Michael Chandler has posted a video of him joking with kids about his UFC 281 loss to Dustin Poirier. Chandler gave some solid career advice to his sons. Well, sons, it appears that your father has engaged in another spectacular hand-to-hand -hand combat at UFC 281 in New York City. Now, a couple of things I'd like to point out. My right foot extremely is extremely swollen. Now, part of that is the altitude on the airplane coming back. Secondly, my face has stitches and two black eyes and a lot of swelling. I would like to say I would not engage in the profession that your father has chosen, although it does provide a wonderful life for you. <laughs> End of story. God bless, and I will see you at the... <laughs> Israel Adesanya is not happy with referee Mark Goddard's stoppage and his TKO loss to Alex Pereira at UFC 281. As his second career loss, Adesanya has been gracious in defeat. In an appearance on the MMA Hour, the former champion discussed his defeat and didn't offer any excuses. However, he did voice his thoughts that the fight should have gone on, especially given Mark Goddard's previous experience refereeing in his title reign. He said, I watched the sequence again and I had my head down. When I have my head down, I'm still looking at him. I could see the knees. People were saying, what if the knee came up? I was looking at his feet. I was looking at the arms, just couldn't see his head. But when I know where your arms and feet are, I know where your head is. When he stopped it, the first thing I did, I'm fine, ref, I'm fine, what the hell? Is he continued, again, I'm the champion. You've refereed, I don't blame him. Mark is a good referee. I agree, he's one of the best in the world. But you refereed the Kelvin Gastelum fight. You've seen where I can go to. You should have that kind of faith in me. It is what it is. In response to Adesanya's comments, Goddard tweeted, My job is to protect. Thank you, Israel. Congratulations, Alex. God bless. Thank you to all who understand the role in which we play. Protection is paramount. Decisions are over the second they are made. The conscience lives forever. Honored, blessed, and thankful, on the biggest stage there is, of the fighters, for the fighters, they remain the kings. Speaking on BT Sports' UFC 281 review show, Michael Bisping reacted to Alex Pereira defeating his Rod Asanya at UFC 281 and made a short breakdown of the fight. Here's the clip. Uh, Pereira hits harder. We know that. That was clearly on display. He was the bigger, heavy hitter. Uh, per uh, Adesanya had to be perfect for 25 minutes. He was perfect for 23 or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. He just got caught. Every time Pereira went forward, he looked dangerous. He looked imposing. And Izzy was way more respectful because he knew anytime you throw a shot at your opponent, you're opening up the door to be counted. You leave openings. So that's why Izzy was a little more tentative, but still he had the courage to throw down because hey, you sign the contract, you're here to fight. He was doing very well. He was winning the fight. Uh, I think also, Nick, to your point, the grappling by Izzy tied him out as well he's not used to going for mm -hmm. takedowns like that in the training room trying to get a takedown is way easier than defending a takedown so listen it's the fifth round of a world title fight both men are tired but Pereira went forward and this time he knew he had to let go so in the past I think he was conserving energy throughout the
the fight, but mm. in the fifth round, there ain't no more come serving. The final bell's going to go. So we let go with the hands and he got the job done. Simple as that. I mean, as we said before, the jabs were knocking his head back. They were knocking him back two, yeah. three feet. The power that man possesses is unbelievable. And hey, listen, commiserations to Israel Adesanya. He's probably going to get an immediate rematch. He's been an incredible champion. And that was a sensation on fire. And I'll tell you what, you, you, you might be right, Nicky, when your assessment of the 99 went out of, out of 100 times. But I'll pay to watch that 99 out of 100 times. While speaking on SiriusXM, former UFC middleweight champion Chris Weidman gave his thoughts on Israel Adesanya vs Alex Pereira fight and praised Izzy for handling his UFC 281 defeat like a true champion. Here's the clip. First off, just props to Adesanya on the way how on the way he's handling this loss. We've seen this when he lost to Blackwitz, the way he handled it. He really handles defeat like a true champion, and I think it's a um, inspiration and something that other fighters could model themselves after after because at the end of the day this game is tough adesanya was looking like the better fighter in there but this sport the better fighter doesn't always win anything could happen that's what makes this sport so crazy so you always got to be grateful in the moment whether you win or lose and adesanya does a great job of presenting that you know to everybody in the biggest fights that we have in the ufc which is awesome for the sport Adesanya has been really good at realizing that this moment's not going to be there forever as being the champion. I want to get to, I just want to stay as active as possible and give the fans what they want. I'm not going to be afraid of failing, you know, and, and he's failing, he's failing forward and he, and he keeps demonstrating that by, you know, when taking the fight against Blackwoods going up a weight class, which was a huge risk. And then now also fighting a guy who had knocked him out. His, the only time he's ever been knocked out was against Pereira. And uh, he put himself in that position with no, no issue. And so tons of props to him on that. Carla Esparza has posted a video statement over Instagram following her UFC 281 loss to Weili Zhang. Esparza gave an update on how she's doing after the loss and thanked her fans for the sport. I just want to say thank you so much for all the wonderful messages and comments. I've made it home and uh, I know a couple of you sent messages wanting to make sure I'm okay. So. I just wanted everyone to know that I'm in a really good mental space. I think, you know, knowing that I did everything I could leading up to the fight, you know, makes me just have a feeling, you know, not have feelings of regret because at the end of the day, like, I did everything I possibly could, you know, working and leading up to the fight. So if anything, I have more feelings of gratitude and gratefulness for, you know, all of my teammates, my coaches, friends, family, and all the positive fans that have just supported me. Um, I'm just, you know, grateful to perform on <coughs> such a huge stage. And, you know, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy. I'm in a good space. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Robert Nelson. Second place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Fight Sport Focus. And our top picked meme was also found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Edward Santiago. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.